And on the heels of that investigation, the university president says as of midnight tonight, all new member intake and all on and off campus Greek life events are suspended until further notice. A 13 ABC obtained a copy of a letter sent to students from the university's president. It reads in part, these measures will be enforced until each chapter individually and successfully works with the Office of Fraternity and Sorority Life and the Office of the Dean of Students on comprehensive plans to safely restart. The chapters are allowed to continue holding virtual board meetings with pre-approval from the Office of Fraternity and sorority life. And this isn't the first time hazing incidents have turned into a topic of politics. Ohio House Bill 310, also known as Collins Law, was introduced back in 2019. It's named after an Ohio University student who died after a hazing incident the year prior. The bill passed the House, but it never made it to the Senate. Now area legislatures are putting the bill back on the table, hoping to get it passed. We reached out to some of the co-writers of Collins Law, including State Representative Haraz Gambari, saying in part, I'm very disheartened to learn about the alleged hazing incident at an off-campus event near Bowling Green State University. Adding in, as we learn more, I remain committed to furthering an an the Anti-Bullying and Hazing Act that I co-sponsored during the last General Assembly. The House passed. We must get the bill sent to the governor's desk to address these very serious incidents which impact our talented youth and young adults.